Hi guys, today we are going to discuss fusion parameter. Through parameters, we can replace the hard code values in the script. This allows the script to execute with different values. This process is called parameterization. Doing parameterization is beneficial in two ways. It reduces a script size as lengthy parameters are replaced with small parameter name. It avoids cache effect by running the script with different values every time. Here are few examples where parameterization is needed. There are few applications which does not allow multiple login sessions for a user. In such case, we cannot use same login credential, rather provide unique credential to each user. In such case, use file type parameter and provide list of credential in the file. Whenever you user enters date or time on any application while recording, the date and time get recorded in the script and the request become invalid when replayed later. A good example of this is ticket booking. To get current or future date, date type parameter is used. On any site for registration, a unique username is required. To get such unique names from Eugen, unique type parameter is used. Here is a list of all the parameters available in Eugen for parameterization. Here are the list of few important parameters along with some details regarding them. The same is available below the video. I requested you guys to go through them. We will see how to do parameterization through tool demo. During this, we will discuss few of the parameters in detail. I have opened the recorded script from one of the previous tutorial, Fusion Script Recording. On this, I will show you how to parameterize the value. Before moving ahead, let's recall the values that we entered during recording. The first is credential while login that is username and password. Then date for booking the flight. On payment page, we skip entering any card details, else that could also be the user info. Let's scan the script for the values which can be parameterized. In login section, username and password should be parameterized. The type of parameter we should select is file type as these values are neither random nor dynamic in nature. Whatever credential we already have can only be used for login. To create the parameter, highlight the value, do the right click, click on replace with a parameter. Provide proper name. The parameter type should be file. Click on properties. To create the file, click create table. This pop-up communicates about a parameter file is created in the given path. Click OK on this. We can see so many fields over here. So let's discuss this. The very first is select column. Select column field is to instruct Eugen to select the column either by name or by column number. We generally go by name. So please check on the radio button by name and from drop down select the name user. Select next row field instruct Fusion how to select new row on table. 
for select next row field we have values in the drop down as unique random and sequential if we go with unique option we should have equal number of rows in the table as number of users against which script is running this will provide each user the unique value of parameter if we go with random option Fusion picks up any value from the table randomly. If we go with sequential option, Fusion picks up the value from the table from top to bottom sequentially. Let's select unique for this field update value on instruct Fusion. What should be the frequency to get new value? For this field, the value can be updated on each occurrence, each iteration, or once. This means if we have a parameter coming three times in the script, its value will change in the script whenever it comes if we select each occurrence. Its value will change on each iteration and within that iteration all the three value will be same if we select each iteration if we select once from the drop down the value re will remain same throughout the script execution whatever value is assigned to that initially let's select each iteration on this when we have field select next row as unique then field when out of option becomes active this instruct fusion what to do when there is no more values to use a script can stop running or keep using the last value or repeat with all values again let's select continue with last value for this click close on this click ok so we replace the parameter with the name user let's find the more occurrence of the parameter click replace more occurrence so it will search for demo user and replace it with the parameter user look like there is no more uh, uh, the value demo user click ok click cancel on this now the same thing we have to do for the password highlight the value click right click and select replace with the parameter provide proper name Click properties. Now we have to select the same file that we created for user. Now to get password column, we have to click on add column. So this will create password column. Now for select column, we will go by name. And in the drop down, select password as name. Now, for select next row, from the drop down, we will select same line as user. This means for any username in the row, the password will remain the same value available in that row. As username and password are in pair in case we want to add any more users we can do the same now control s closing this so we have added 
a new pair of credential that's fine now click close click ok so now let's move ahead and search for next candidate for parameterization ok so I can see the departure date and arrival date was the date that we that the user entered okay so for this we have to take the parameter type as date and just for information when we recorded the script we selected the next day as departure date that means one day ahead from current date and two day ahead from current date as return date so we will do the same here as well right click replace with a parameter it should be depart date the parameter type should be date let's click on the properties so now there are different formats and according to the requirement we have to select the format there is option we can add our customized format so look like this one matches our requirement now with this setting we will get the current date and we are looking for a date ahead so we have to select offset parameter and offset is of one day in case we are looking for a past date there is an option for that as well prior to current date and now I want this to get updated on each iteration I don't want this to change within an iteration so value update on each iteration click close click ok on this the same thing I have to do for arrive rate parameter type should be date let's go to the property same format offset of two days each iteration close ok now if you want to see we can go to the parameter list and these are all parameters that we just created required we can edit these as well now let's see few of other parameters which are very commonly used and easy to explain for this I have to open a new script now I will create a parameter through parameter list and this is demo value that I created let's take another value demo value 1 and I want to have this value as the parameter type as iteration number there are different formats for this so let's select any one of them this one In case there is no uh, format available, I can add of my own. Click close to display this value. I'm using LR output message. I will keep changing the type of parameter and print the values while it's script execution. So I want 
to show you for filtrations so let me run this okay so you can see for the first iteration the value for iteration number type of parameter is 001 for 02 it's 002 and for third iteration it's 003 let me go and change this value to random number we have to provide a range for this so i am taking a range of like 11 to 66 and here i would like to show you the difference between each occurrence and each iteration so currently the value were changing on each iteration that was by default but now i will give you an example for each occurrence so i want the value to update on each occurrence and for this i am creating another occurrence of this so the first occurrence of the parameter is this one and this is the second occurrence now i am going to run this okay so on first iteration for the first occurrence the value was 47 then 40 so the value is changing on each occurrence on second iteration the value of the value was uh, 37 on first occurrence then in second it was 65 in third iteration the first occurrence was 11 second it was 22 so hope uh, now each occurrence is might be clear to you i am going with unique type of parameter now i am taking the range of from 23 to 78 i want the value to update on each iteration continue with the last value so once again i am taking the value to update on each iteration so for first iteration the unique value was 23 then for second it was 24 and third it was 25 now let me take the user uh, parameter type as user id let's create a customized i username this time maybe candidate and i am adding this format in this close so you can see for first iteration 001 and it 001 okay uh, one thing is there for user id when we run the script on vuegen the id is always one so this generally works on controller so that was all about parameters and the next tutorial will be on collation thank you